Hello, everybody. It's Ira Bowman, founder of Project Help You Grow and the Bay Area Print and Imaging Account Manager for California Survey and Drafting Supply. And today, I'm going to teach you a little bit about how to use your LinkedIn feed, specifically how to bookmark those uh, you want to follow so that you can see what they're up to whenever you want. So a real quick summary. If you are uh, on LinkedIn, as I am now, you really have two choices with the algorithm, what it shows you, right, uh, in your feed. You can look for top or you can look for recent. And basically, either way, you're still only being shown a fraction of the things that are actually happening in your network. Like if I go to top right now, Tracy Murray's post shows up. And if I go to recent, it pulls up the top one is Shabazz Khan. And, you know, if you scroll through it, it will show you a little bit different things. Some of it actually would still be the same. But it, uh, the recent shows you things, this was posted one minute ago, and the top is showing me something that was posted four hours ago, okay, now Sahib is on here. But anyways, let's say I wanna go and I wanna see, well, let's say you're you and you wanna see something that I'm doing, right? That's kind of what I'm hoping people want. They wanna see what I've, if I've got going on. You can go into the search bar and just type my name, but then what's gonna happen is it's gonna show you uh, my profile, it's also going to waste one of your searches. I don't know if you know this, but throughout the month, each month, you're limited on how many LinkedIn searches that you can do. So bookmarking your favorites allow you to see what's going on without wasting your searches. Also, you're limited in page count, how many pages you click on in a day on LinkedIn. And if you go too high, you can actually be punished. I have a blog uh, article post that I'm writing. It's actually the second part of it. It's how to grow and excel on LinkedIn. If you go to the second article, I'll teach you about the limits, both the search limits and the page visit limits in that. However, in this, I'm just talking about the uh, the bookmarking, okay? So when you bookmark it, what you want to do, you may notice I've gone straight to and I've bookmarked the activity page, the posts, because that's typically what people want to see the most. You can, from here, I could toggle back over to articles and here this actually references the one that i just talked about this is the first one now for beginners and intermediate people who, who want to get the basics of linkedin this is a great resource if you don't have thirty thousand people in your network yet read this article it'll help you get there okay and you can scroll through the rest of my articles they are what they are okay but let's say you want to go to somebody else you can do the same thing so if i'm just scrolling through real here real quick uh let's say i want to go to Deanna. This is a, uh, a recruiter who taught me about the purple squirrel. <laughs> so anyway, she's been on my podcast before. But again, look where I am. I'm not on her profile page. I'm on her uh, activity page posts. That's what I want to bookmark. So how do you do it? Okay, so let's go to one I haven't done before. Let's go to Tracy. Tracy's relatively new to my network. A lot of people like her. I like her. She gives out advice. She's trying to help job seekers much in a, a similar way that I do and, uh, and Christy Bonner do. She's relatively new to it, so she's kind of getting her feet wet, but that's how she's building her network by trying to help people uh, in, that, in that fashion, okay? So what I could do is I could come here and I could bookmark just by clicking the star. Now on your web browser, it might be a little bit different, but however you save a favorite, basically that's what a bookmark is, okay? But I don't wanna do that. I actually wanna come down here to see all of their activity. See, she's growing, she's at 65, hundred followers now. I think when I first saw her, she was under 5,000. So she's grown quite a bit in the last few weeks. Okay. Helping people on LinkedIn is a good way to grow. Okay. Read my article. So anyways, to come here, I don't even want to do all activities because that's every comment, every like, every share. I don't care about that. I want to know what she's contributing. When I go to see a person, that's what I want to see. If you want to see something different, just bookmark something as appropriate. But anyways, this is where I would bookmark right here. Okay, because I can come through and I can see what she's got going on. I can read and I can support, comment, and like anything that I like. I can I can catch up. Let's say I haven't seen her in three days. I could go back the last three days and review her activity really quickly this way. So all I'm going to do is just click right here. Now what I've done, see this number 10 right here? It took me a while to figure out what that is. But what that means is at the moment I have 10 notifications on LinkedIn. Really silly. I don't know why anybody would care about that when they bookmark, so I just erased that. The other thing that I've done is I've created a folder called LinkedIn. So if you come here, you can actually see all the different bookmarks that I have. Choose another folder, and you can make one too, okay? More to make one, 
Okay, new folder. That's how you do that. So anyways, I come here, I hit this thing, and then I'm putting it in the LinkedIn folder. So if I come right here, this is where it's going to be in my LinkedIn folder. I've got another one that I did, which was Im imported from Firefox. Anyways, because I'm using Chrome now. <laughs> so that's how you do it, okay? Now, once that's in there, the way my browser works, it actually is going to put it all the way at the bottom, which is a little bit of a pain. She's not in there yet because I didn't hit done. That was my problem, I think. So anyways, let me do that. Done. And she should be there at the very bottom. There she is. And then I just like to put them in order. So, okay. So if you want to see me, again, you just come down to your bookmark, Ira Bowman, and then voila, it takes you not only to my profile, but it takes you to my posts. That should save you time. It should save you page count, and it should save you searches. So for all three reasons, it's a really good thing to incorporate. And if you're trying to become uh, an expert at managing a larger network, as they grow, it gets harder to do this. You don't want to forget your friends. You want to forget the ones that you really support. You might not see them as much in your feed. Look, I've got 38,000 followers now that are in my feed. So, so it's harder than it used to be to keep up with, you know, my closest friends, Kirsty and Michael and Jared and Tracy and all these these people, Deanna, all these people, uh, Sohib and all of them, right? So I bookmarked them and I go visit and uh, it's kind of fun. Anyways, I hope that tip helps. If you're looking for more, find this article on, uh, come to my profile and go to articles and then find it. And by the time you see this, you might actually see the second one on there too, where I'm going to show you even more uh, in-depth things. So I'm working on it right now, uh, which is why I'm making this video, but continuing to grow in Excel. So it started, and, then, and I'm covering this right here, the algorithm, how to uh, overcome the challenges of the algorithm. So I hope this video helps. You can always leave a comment in the uh, section below. I'd love to engage with you in the comments. It's one of the reasons uh, I grew, and it's a way that you can grow. Also, if you're looking for more help, you can uh, follow me on YouTube, subscribe to my channel. I post videos like this all the time, how-to videos and tips, trying to help you guys uh, get better on social media and business in general. My name is Ira Bowman. It's been a pleasure talking to you. Look forward to talking to you again real soon. Have a great day, everybody.